right, my name's Winston. I'm Ben. I'm Marcus. I'm Ted. I'm Ted, right. And together, <laughs> we are. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of new songs into the set, so when people come down, they have some of this. So nice. Um, so when people come to the shows, we're playing for sometimes more new songs, and, and we always try and get collaborative with the people we're touring with as well. Right. So on this tour with King Charles. Cadillac Sky, and they all jump up boots. at various points. These boots usually make a, an appearance. Don't you think they're wonderful boots? They're great boots, yeah. yeah they're, they're better than great. <laughs> they're awesome boots. They're awesome boots. We play into each other's strengths a little bit. Like I've certainly found recently that I'm not very good with words and expressing myself, so, uh, words, <laughs> so I might just uh, talk to maybe Mox or, or Winston about what a song's about and then they're better at articulating the sentiment. And then I think everyone's got like their strengths within the band, and mm. that's why it's a dynamic in the way that it is. Mm. Some people don't know certain chord changes. And Some people don't like know that. any chords at all. So <laughs> I always go to Ben for my chords, <laughs> which is good. We pulled up outside, and there's a gentleman down here. I know this is radio, so you can't see it, but there was a gentleman down here wearing a cycle helmet. And, uh, and Winston, <laughs> Winston said... <laughs> Is he in fancy dress or is he narcoleptic? <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, maybe that's offensive in many different ways. If it is, I'm sorry, but I thought it was really funny. It, it, it could be, but I think we should remind people at home that this is uh, being recorded on Halloween, which is why. And anything goes on Halloween. <laughs> Including narcoleptic jokes, it seems. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so when did you swap uh, the guitars for banjos? When did that happen? Hmm? <laughs> All right. Who, who are you? Where am I? <laughs> did you say banjos? Yeah, I said banjos. What did you say? When, when did you when did you swap guitars for banjos? We always had banjos. You always did. Yeah. Where did they come from? I mean, it's not a usual, usual instrument to have in a band. Quite a lot of them. <laughs> How many banjos do you have? Do I have? Yeah. That's a very personal question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to, but, but uh, is, that, is that not something you talk about as a, as a banjo-loving person? I don't think it's the time. Is it? Is that the time? What, what, what do you call people that are in love with banjos? Are you banjoist? Is that a fetish? Or a thing fetish? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's an obsession. It's an obsession. Yeah. <laughs> Is there if, if the go as far as fetish? I, I once slept with my band and I got into a tangle. It was not to be repeated. Just don't do it. Now, is it a four string, a five string, or a six string banjo? Five string. Five string? Are they very smooth? Very loving to have. <laughs> Depends on the context of the tag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm just. We are in Hamburg. Yeah, we, we just right oh, behind the week of mine. Hamburg, yeah. Hamburg. <laughs> no. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we are Mumford and Sons, and we're at Lollapalooza. Marcus, Ben, Ted, and Winston, the four guys from Mumford and Sons, showed VH1 what it's like to play at Lollapalooza. Just minutes before taking the stage, they cobbled together a set list. This is a Sharpie. This is the most important weapon on the road. We got the set list. It was a battle, but we got there. We just have to write it out just so that we give it to our guitar tech and then change it so that he's also confused so as to what's going on. We're two members of Mumford & Sons. I'm Marcus and that's Ted. And uh, we're in Jeremiah Weed's back garden. The Bonnaroo Festival and kickoff is in 32 minutes. And it's, uh, it's a big day for football. It's a big day for the world. You've got to get your priorities right in life, haven't you, really? So, yeah, it goes football, gig. We've set general rules about not doing any promo or gigs when there's a game on. We had to play a gig once without our banjo player because he had to go and see a football game. It's really hot. Really hot. It's really, really hot. Really, really hot. Hotter than is natural or healthy. I had to cut my jeans off in the bus. That's how bad it was. Because I thought I was just going to look at that. I feel like Tom Hanks in Castaway. Look at that. 
It's a good pair of jeans. They were expensive, they were. But... Oh! Hello, we're Mumford and Sons at Reading Festival. Very like in and out. Sometimes you don't feel very landed where you are when you're about to play a gig. Well, that's true, though. Thanks, Ted. I have to agree with Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of strobe lights and loads of nudity. Pyro. Hand out chocolate. Pour vodka in the mouths of the people in the front. Then you get any crowd going, mate. Yeah. No problem. Oh, yeah. Like, if there was, okay, if Carrie Underwood was four different people, all of different race, and uh, wasn't as country, and was British, then, then you, that's kind of maybe right. See, you're a philosophical man as well. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I would forgive you if you'd broken my heart. Uh, I'd never do that, though, Ted. I hope not. Um, friends? Always, always friends. It's for mates. I'm going to be in the pit, okay? Talking to some of your fans before when you you'll get gig. recognized. Well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? So it'll be oh, right. on telly, like it'll be on telly. You, you're you're on telly that's to be famous. Yeah, you so want to be famous. No, we'll be. No. That's the whole idea. No. We'll be on telly. Right. Okay, and then throw into your gigs so when we're going, oh, here we are, the pit, blah, 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 and then go, here's Mumford and Sons. Live? What I'd like from you, yeah, live. Wow. What if you mess it up? Well, we won't mess it up. What if someone swears? Well, then they will cancel out what the swear word. What if someone word. does something physically inappropriate for television? Then they will cut it off and put Family Guy on. That's pretty That's inappropriate. Pretty inappropriate. <laughs> One last thing, and this could be, you know, the worst question ever, but Marcus Mumford, have you seen Beverly Hills Cop 1 when Eddie Murphy wears a Mumford Fizz Edge shirt? I really inter- want one. I can't find one anywhere. I can, I have you got one? Yes, I own one. No. Because my dad went to that school, Mumford. No yes, way. So I will give it to your man who will, who will give it to you. You're about what, a large? All right, mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, why'd you have to do that live on air? I don't know why. why I, do that? I'm sorry. I don't know. We were bonding over pants and now shirt sizes. All right, skinny fella. All right. <laughs> All right. They I'm are Mumford and Sons, everybody, <laughs> playing tonight on the main stage. Um, so uh, so, so you, you're huge in America now, of course. Can I have a look at your teeth? I know this is radio, but uh, I didn't brush this morning. No, have either of you? I've just eaten a like a tart. <laughs> I, can, I, can see, I can see a little bit of. Uh, oh, Benji! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's what the Americans love. It's this British Austin Powers style innuendo, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Um, have you considered having the uh, the whitening and the Bee Gees look for the American market? No, no. Uh, we're not going to conform to their ways at all. No, like being British. except for their food, their fine cuisine. Yeah. Do, you, do you enjoy I'm a big, getting... a big plate, yeah, a big I do, portion? I do, I do. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Do you find yourself uh, acting up? Is that innuendo? Do you do you find yourselves uh, ramping up the Britishness for the Americans using words like cheerio and such like? Ted does. Yeah, I do. Ted's voice is, is somehow <laughs> really posh, and he comes here and he's back to being a Londoner. He goes all those like, yes, hello, everyone having a good time. The thing is, though, when you're in America, I think uh, often the tendency is to sort of become a little you know you start speaking slightly American like a lot of the old rock stars do yeah yeah after a couple of weeks in America you start saying y'all and stuff mm. and I thought I did that for a while and I was like no no I'm gonna do the British thing absolutely, absolutely not. not you're going for the Quentin Crisp look why not yeah I don't know who that is he was the quintessential Englishman in New York. Oh, right. Of, uh, of, of, of uh, the song Englishman in New York fame. Okay, okay. And, uh, I mean, is, is it insane over there? Have you got to do stuff like go to parties at rooftop pools and hang out with um, um, yeah, Pete loads Diddy? Of that. Is, is, is that what it all is? Loads of drugs and yeah. hookers. And yeah, you Amazing. Know, just what you'd expect from... Jeff, it's just burgers. Right. That's all we do. Sounds good. It flows it's off really the tongue. Hot. It flows. Are you hot? It's pretty hot. Out I'm, here. Well, I'm, I'm hot. not wearing. I'm you, to this is a, in UK. I feel like this is a British thing. You wear layers. I know, but it's 
Like, look at these layers. layers. No, You're wearing yeah, no. a scarf. Because what do they call Grammys, this? It's a cravat. A yeah. what? It's a cravat. 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 That shows how uh, yeah, cravat. sophisticated I've I am. I've never known that. I don't think I've ever heard that word before in my life. <laughs> we need to get I you a cravat, my you. man. You need to get me a thesaurus. Can, yeah. can we quickly go back to the music? <laughs> and then the Avett Brothers are doing a song, and then we're all doing a song with uh, a little-known artist called Bob Dylan. Did you, you get to meet him yet? Oh, Bob, I can't uh, remember. Dylan. I can't remember. Uh, did you get to meet him yet? make it with that yeah. name in this business. You did? What was he like? He's I lovely. He's shy, but he's it. lovely. Yes. I mean, he didn't disappoint. You know when you meet your hero and it's like your expectation, you're trying to lower your expectations. He gave me a fist pump today. Really? It was the best day of my life. Well, we're so excited to hear you guys. I'm going to fist bump the Bob yes, Dylan fist, fist bump I fist. I did this. I did this. Oh, you did? Uh, oh, you captured it, sure. Yeah, I did the uh, gear stick. You wanted to save the moment. <laughs> the gear stick, the gear stick. very nice. It was intimate. I woke up about an hour and 10 minutes ago, and we went straight in to do a photo shoot with an unnamed magazine. It's kind of hard work. It's kind of hard work. It's we're not, not really. Nice to sit here. We're not models. They made us dress up in clothes that weren't our own. Yeah, so, so then strange. we took them all off and put back our own clothes on. It's just like we're mediocre, slightly overweight English musicians. We're definitely not male models. They give us all these skinny little trousers to squeeze into. Just don't it's fit. Just, it's just, just don't fit, man. Who wants to do that? It's not why we do this. No. This is much better. Much better. Two, three, four. Ah, 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 that's one of our new songs. Uh, there's another one that goes. <laughs> That's all we got so far. We feel like we're ready to go into the studio though with those, you know? That's kind of the beginning and the end. And we're yeah. gonna There'll be some stuff in the middle, banjos and guitars and stuff, but those are the two hits. Maybe. What brings you guys out here today? Uh, <laughs> we're not entirely sure. <laughs> we don't know. We don't really know what's going on. We were in a car with far too many people, and then we got out, and then there was a lot of red, and then we were hanging out with you guys. <laughs> this all is right? very us though. It is. Yeah, this it is, is our scene. scene. We don't need other we are doing this in London. In <laughs> our element carpet right now. <laughs> You're not native Angelinos? No. You can tell. <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, you fit right in. Actually. Yeah, I was actually born in California. You were? So what technically part? Was Orange County. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's not too far away. Disneyland. Heard of it. Yes, exactly. Right by there. Can you just introduce yourselves as uh, Mumford and Sons and give us your names, please? Uh, my name's Winston. I'm Ben. I'm Marcus. And Ted. And Ted, right. And together, <laughs> we are. <laughs> Your music's been described as folky and trendy and. and, and <laughs> same gag from earlier, isn't it? No, it's not the same gag. It was that gag earlier. <laughs> All right, yeah. I did the gag earlier. It wasn't a gag. <laughs> it wasn't a gag. It was actually. How would you describe? How would you describe your music? Trendy. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> really, like. Just bit folky, um, maybe. A bit folky, and maybe a bit trendy. trendy. What's that word? <laughs> I think trendy is the word. It's like folky. It's like folky, but is it? It's more cool. It's like cool, folky, trendy, <laughs> trendy, hip. So you're hipsters. Not, we're not very good at this we're one. We're no, not very no, good at describing no. our own. We're not very good at taking ourselves very seriously when no, we have no, to describe I, our own music. I understand that. Fashionable. But just for the general public, though, in, what would in, you sell it as? Um, Middle of the road, <laughs> boring. No way. No Acoustic, way. sweaty rock, sweat rock, sweat rock, sweat rock. Yeah. What of of all the things that happened? What was the you know what were the standouts for you? Um, lots of standouts, eh? Uh, getting a hangout all the time. It's got to be up there. <laughs> Yay. Top 10. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he feels the same oh, way. Oh, it's, no, it's reciprocal. <laughs> yeah. It's just a beautiful, no, it's a beautiful evening. Lots of birds beautiful playing. Beautiful. If only the camera was facing the other I way. Know, I feel like yeah. we should be, yeah. Uh, let's talk about some it's of the songs on the record. Much. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Did you just <laughs> flip me the... No, no, I... I oh! <laughs> oh hey. I didn't know it was going bad. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just All right. Even, you could even imagine me doing that is offensive. Really? <laughs> is that it? Are you going to walk off now? Uh, so I will wait... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, just no, no. Something? <laughs> no, no. Just, just is there Google something? Is there like an incident that I don't know? No, no, not at all. It's like no. a Larry David moment. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this yeah. is a Larry David moment. Yeah. You're right, mate. No, I'm good. Should, should we hug it out? Okay. No, no. <laughs> yeah, should we? You want to hug it yeah. out? Just please um, bring it in a minute. Yeah, I, th- I can do it. All right, well done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If there is a sonic aphrodisiac on this record, lovers, lovers eyes has got to be that tune i would say oh, yeah. Yeah. Like you. yeah exactly well with myself mostly but i'm saying it's uh <laughs> good, i respect that it's a nice tune with uh, erectile function <laughs> <laughs> well we've people, we've crossed so everything here over. it's nice to do it with with um you know with each other i think if it was like one of us alone then then it might be harder to deal we can enjoy the the, the stupidness of it all and the the glories of it all and the the hard work of it all together, which is really nice. Um, but then I suppose I don't get the recognition I deserve as the amazing musician I am because I have to give it over to the other guys and they kind of just follow my coattails a little bit. So there's pluses and minuses. Wouldn't you agree? Couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Oh, we like the photo bomb. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, this is get to talk about that that Brit thing but like that that does mean a, that where, is, where is that Brit I don't know. Oh. it's there oh there it is we're taking that one I think that's we're, ours winning best British group means a lot right yeah man it does it really does because um, you know these award things are silly and like making music into a competition is a silly idea in the first place and we really do believe that but at the same time celebrating it and recognizing it is really nice and to be in a group of like that kind of caliber of, 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 and it made sense to me that Coldplay won the live act one as well. Like it really made sense to me because they played so much live. Like they put so much into their live thing. that like, it, like it's cool, you know, it's, it's cool. And, and so the, the group thing was, 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 to, was totally fine. Like it was, it was really sweet. And uh, we really respect the other groups that were involved as well. So yeah, cheers. Marcus Mumford and Sons, thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks you. And uh, what about you? Are you a whiskey man? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm not as much of a whiskey man as Ted. Ted's a Ted's a real connoisseur, actually. Yeah, he's gonna eat my own. Yeah. He it's built with yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I like a good whiskey. Yeah. You hate people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, it's good. You hate people. No, I don't hate people. I d- you disagree. <laughs> I don't dislike people. I just have a horrible sense of humor that gets me in big trouble that I try to reel in. That. And sometimes it sass. gets out. You call it sass, don't you? You're a sassy mother trucker. <laughs> I like how you clean that up. I like how at the last minute when you got to the yeah. junction, yeah. you uh, I just didn't do that on live radio. Oh, no. Did you say an I, one? I, I dropped an F. Did you? Bomb. And, uh, see, this is on YouTube. We can actually swear. Oh, well, that's ah, fucking great. <laughs> we actually did it in Australia recently. We dropped a number of F-bombs consecutively because we thought we were allowed to swear and no one stopped us. And that was live on radio. And they got in trouble for that one. I think country music sounds racist. No, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. She's very, you should hold on to her. Is it your family name or is it because your parents love the Kennedy family? My parents are both total Democrats and they loved the Kennedy family. Is that why you got those glasses on as well? Just to give it a bit more of a Kennedy vibe? No, this is utter blindness right. and um, laziness. And they, it, I love how you... Make a comment like that, and then you just wait for 10 That's seconds. not a question. Yeah, like he's gonna, that That's not a question. I don't know. I can't answer that. No That's not a question. She's good. She's not that good. That was so dumb. Yeah, it's like, but personal statement <laughs> that you can have actually no comment on. All right. I like ice cream. I'm hungry. The city who eats the most ice cream of anywhere in the United States is Long Beach, California, home of Snoop Dogg. Let's talk about reggae for a minute. I don't know about. anything about reggae. <laughs> Since you want someone else Sorry. to talk to you about reggae for a minute. Wikipedia, mate. <laughs> it is pretty inspiring, but you guys just won probably the biggest award of the night. 
I, I was guided we weren't even nominated for Urban Album of the Year. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's one thing, like, not winning, but, like, at least I thought we were nominated. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's f***ing weird, man. Uh, don't ask us to try and explain what's going the on. The only award I ever won in school was Best Improved at French. Now, the thing about that is my mum is French, <laughs> so I should be fluent. <laughs> like, that's not, a, that's not a good award. My parents are here this evening. Are they? Yeah, and I won a public speaking prize when I was, like, 12. I came runner-up when I was, like, 12 years old and I didn't win it. And the first thing they said to me was, this is better than the public uh, speaking prize. I would think so. So that's nice. Yeah. Saying. When we're off tour, I kind of go around to everyone else's house and like knock on the door like, do you want to go on tour and write songs? And everyone's just, fuck off! <laughs> it's true. But, but your, true. your parents are now using your fame for getting doctor's appointments or something like that? No, I only left my parents' house. Okay. Mass guitars. <laughs> Mass guitars? Yes. Is that right? Huh? <laughs> e bellissima. Yeah, he's there. He's there. And uh, there's it done. With the Margaret and Winford, with the Mumford and Sons, backstage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, fuck getting up at five in the morning. I'm gonna stay through for it. we don't have that Okay, uh, are, you, are you yet finished talking about the album? Because for you it's like whole half a year ago, I think. It's, well, uh, when. When you're talking about such a monumental piece of art, <laughs> you can I could go you on for days. <laughs> <laughs> we will be. <laughs> no, but is that a hard thing or is it fun? Or it's I don't fun know. now to be actually playing shows. Yeah. Some people I were, consider it a promotion. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A promotion. Some people were gutted that I was still on stage. They thought yeah. they finally got rid of me. <laughs> And that, uh, He's still there. Partly, I wish I was hoping to get a bit more of a break. But uh, no, uh, yeah, still there. Your job's easy, hang on. Yeah, but it's it's that, easy. Are, are like people saying now. things like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, just to uh, walk just back and forth, pose, play yeah. every now and then. Did a pose, yeah. turn around, walk back towards the back of the train, just doing all the work for you. Yeah. But to be fair, models do what they do, like only like two, like change the posture of the cap, right? Yeah. They do the model two, and I'm doing four. And that's the small shows. Yeah, that's true. So, I think I'm more than a model. You have four <laughs> fashion changes in this show tonight yeah. as well? Well, this is a big show, so, yeah. you know, up five or six. Yeah. Up to yeah. eight, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Up and maybe because of the hot weather, yeah. even more. Tops off five. Yeah. <laughs> and now, I, I get to engage with the audience more than I have done before, because I'm not playing drums with my feet so much, so I get to move around a bit. You know, do a bit of this. Marcus, yesterday, first time he's in ever Poland. done it. In Poland. Yeah. Went down, got in the crowd, didn't you? Stuck my head in the crowd. Oh my god! I only stuck my head. You know when you, you know when you want to have a shower, but you don't want to get your whole body wet, yeah. so you just stick your head in. <laughs> it was like that. I just went up oh, and back, <laughs> and back again. <laughs> and then, <laughs> right. so are you going to do that tonight? Do you think? Is it the? Uh, feels like more. Tonight, I need a bit more of an ego platform. We'll see. Oh. We'll see. Maybe a trapeze. <laughs> Maybe a trip of peace. It's a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> no, is building me a staircase. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, guys. Uh... Benji. TD. Winston. Marky Marcus. And Mum. They used to call me Mum. We called him Mum because he wasn't allowed to sing. <laughs> no, that's not why they called me Mum. I would... No. I don't remember that. The... Worst singer ever. It just kind of stuck. Hey, hey, mum, shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it did uh, stuck. His singing was, uh, what's the word? <laughs> we all took a vote. He was not allowed to sing. Worst one, the worst one of all, OMG UHOT. <laughs> You know who wrote that song? I. D I D. That was my song. Did you guys anticipate any of the backlash? Because as you get more famous, you also get more backlash for no specific reason. Yeah, I, I don't really know. We never really minded so much because we just really love the records. We love making it, we, and now we love playing it. But then I'm going to accuse you of being smug, Winston. Nicely done. Why smug? Because you like your own record. 
Well, it's like, unlike the you see what I'm two, doing here? The first two, <laughs> which I don't like so much. You don't like the first two? So that averages out <laughs> at being quite modest. <laughs> no, maybe not. Not modest. I enjoyed you on the first two, for I what it's worth. I think the first two are fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Don't, don't swear. Gratuitous fucking. No, alive. gratuitous fucking. We're going for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> gratuitous fucking. And uh, we always encourage, like... Um, each other to go off and do different things, mm -hmm. collaborate in different ways. The open you know, marriage. we grew up playing. Right. Yeah, it's like an open marriage. We we grew we grew up playing in tons of different bands, yeah. and none of us now just play or just do one thing. And open marriages are always the most <laughs> successful marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the wheels turning over there. I was just waiting for it. He's got you, man. He's got. You. <laughs> um, I can't remember who sent the first email or text, but yeah, someone did, and uh, it was like, let's get together. It was at your place, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So it was probably you. <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys, who wants to join me? I'm all in a video game. Somebody come over. Yeah. yeah. I've been in a pub for four months. I think it was a bit more like, I'm, I'm really busy, but like, what are you up to? Like, I'm like, I totally, I, I haven't got time, but like, you sort of... Was, yeah. I mean, it's sort of weird. You've like heard the whole record now, and you're amongst like, probably only like a few people that have, so it's quite... It's quite weird sitting here with you, like knowing that you're just keeping your judgments to yourself. <laughs> I kind of, I'm like, do you like it? <laughs> Please like do it. Do you like it? <laughs> Got absolutely smashed and had 10 of the best nights of my life and become, became obsessed with Simi Mobile Disco's music and uh, poorly attempted to make some techno music. What's your techno long. DJ name? The floppy disk jockey. No. Oh yeah, techno notice. Techno notice. The trick to techno. The trick to techno. Because you're, you're now. Because you're now. As a connoisseur. Yeah, yeah. The trick to techno, right? There's two important things you need to know about techno. Firstly, and this I'll is when you're dancing, you're gonna have to hold my mic. You've got to make sure you keep your hands down and your mouth shut, because <laughs> otherwise you're like this. All night. It's not a good look. You're not going to pull if you look like that. Hands down, mouth shut. Like that. That's the trick to take. No, never. We never, we never uh, intend to split up this time. It feels like a marriage now. It felt like a marriage pretty early on. We, uh, I think partly because we were friends for a long time, so we'd kind of been dating as, a, as four guys for a long time and then we were like let's go and maybe be in a band together and then that was kind of a sense of permanency uh, yeah we'll, we enjoy it all too much to stop doing it some pretty like rubbish places in the middle of like bumfuck nowhere America. Actually, even shit places are like pretty exciting. Unless it's, uh, I guess there's some like different kinds of shit, isn't there? And 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 on that note, <laughs> oh, on that note, there are different kinds of shit. <laughs> Aren't there? <laughs> Aren't there? Classic line. Play a game with you guys. We have a fun game prepared for you. Yeah. It is. It has to do with emojis. We play this game with a lot of groups I love sometimes. emojis. You guys What's have a ton emoji? of. Uh, I, probably the Winky guy. Can you guess which one this is? The, the oh, you like murder? this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like this guy? I like. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah. Like, ah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one mixed with the this one. Yeah. You know the strong. I like that one. Give a pound. A big Have you discovered Bitmoji? No. What, I, feel what so, I feel so current. You're so hip. It's like where you put like a little picture of yourself into it. You've been sending me loads of these. They're awesome. awesome. And they're really funny. Can I send some? So, yeah, yeah, please do. So I'll get a zoom. <laughs> That's a good one to start with. <laughs> Can we get a zoom? We'll turn around, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus, Marcus Mumford. You want to show it there? We're experts. Oh, perfect. Look at this. This will work this out. This is a rock and roll one. Marcus Mumford, mic drop. He's already <laughs> done that. But it's like you've done it. I have done that, actually. Have you? That's yeah. legit. Over the last few years, um, we've realised that this is our job now, and that we're technically professional musicians, which is still Whoa. quite funny. <laughs> Whereas these songs, no one's ever heard them, so, and we've never played them live. So before we go out and do a big summer run, um, we wanted to just gig these songs in. And it's quite a challenge for the audiences, even though it's only a couple hundred people, because... Uh, because they've never heard any of these songs other than the, the one you just played. Right. So, um, so, yeah, it's hard work. 
and we get we get like quite quite interesting reactions even from our friends and people we work with like last night our agent came in and he was like how are you feeling i was like yeah all right yeah how are you doing he was like scared <laughs> that, was it. that was the that was our whole interaction that's not what you show. want yeah yeah exactly you don't want that from him people were like it's gonna be so great when you know how to play the songs <laughs> and we've noticed that the crowds that come or the people that find themselves there however they get there um because of the internet i think um they they're, they're sort of like the they're, they're really sort of maternal fans like even though like our tour manager walked past these like two 16 year old girls at these shows we did in london who were like walking and like they were i don't know they were like toddlers when the first album came out <laughs> and they were walking along being like i just saw ted he looks really tired i'm really worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's quite a nice like supportive quite a warm they want crowd. you to do well because they already like your your previous yeah thing. we're playing to the home team yeah well we actually took a few months out um at the end of the last touring cycle we took what we thought was going to be longer but but it ended up being a few months and then we got on the phone with each other and said let's uh let's start playing some music again why did you just get restless like i think i got withdrawal uh, symptoms you do <laughs> yeah well we spent so much time together that suddenly like you're bereft of each other's company and even though you don't really like it that much you're like this feels very strange <laughs> <laughs> and months can feel like like years and so yeah there's like a a file somewhere with a ton of really bad song ideas that one of you has to bring in bad ideas who is it <laughs> who brings in like you go uh, you know what there's no bad ideas except for this one no uh, it's not <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's really against the spirit of what I was just thinking yeah, no, yeah, I understand yeah. that but, but let's right. name him and shame him anyway it's Winston All right, <laughs> uh, it's uh, definitely uh, Winston yeah, you, you always pick a guy who's not here exactly. at the interview would you ever get into a uh, into a giant plastic ball and go out across the audience like Wayne from Flaming Lips. They actually learned that from us. So. Yeah, okay, all right. Because that yeah. does seem awfully terrifying to me. What, what the, <laughs> the main reason I respect that band so much is that they like blow confetti over the audience in their first song. They're like, <laughs> Get we are doing this. <laughs> and well, then the encore. you've got to stay <laughs> up the whole way. I wonder so what we like to make out with Wayne Coyne for that very reason. To make out with him. I'm yeah. sorry, what? Well, you've got, sorry, a whole what? You, you've got a whole summer to work on that. Wait, what nice to have a dream. Wait, wait, wait. What did you, did did you he, say make out with? Did he say he likes to make out with Did I say that out loud? I think you did. <laughs> Can we just <laughs> explain a... that there's a machine sitting in front of Ben that is like, it's like a drum machine and it has titles. It does and, have oh, I don't know that we need to talk it's about that, Marcus. Yeah, I don't think and in the break, we can't. Ben goes, what does this one do? I don't think that story needs to be told on the air, though. It says gay run on it. I don't think we need to talk about that on the air. It presses play and it's the most offensive that was private time. That British was private terms time. <laughs> for homosexual Maybe that, that you can it. imagine. Maybe that was the But influence. not so bad for, for America. <laughs> yeah, exactly. None of it's offensive to you. I was like, oh my God. I just, I just love that that's all Ben's been thinking about since we've been sitting here talking about the tour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you get the chance to make out with Wayne from the Flaming Lips. I hope your dream comes true this summer on the tour. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, what song? What song would be um, most appropriate for a, a football? I have to say, when we wrote it, when we first oh wrote it. Oh my god, you have actually got one in mind. When we first wrote <laughs> it, yeah, this is basically what this album's all about. When we when we <laughs> first wrote it, I was drive. like, we wrote the lyric, and then for that song, Hopeless Wanderer, which was right. on our last album. Yeah. And I was really hoping that one day some clever AFC Wimbledon fan would be like, I'm a hopeless womble. Perfect. Perfect. I, isn't I don't it? know where, but because uh, mm, mm, if you need three. Symbols. No, because no. it goes hopeless wanderer or oh, hopeless okay. womble. Well, well. Yeah, well, see, so you, you should put it out now. Have you, have I you thought ever... about going in disguise to uh, the terraces. Because <laughs> my you ever, you ever, you ever from the last moment, <laughs> wearing like big glasses <laughs> and a nose. I mean, like anyone else like my brother's son's here. <laughs> it might have just been the single, but I'm pretty sure I went on to buy the album of uh, No Doubt, Tragic Kingdom. Um, yeah, having wept to um, Don't Speak as a confused 13 year old. It's okay, man. Not sure. <laughs> First ever gig was uh, with my friend whose uh, mum was in the business, and we went to Ozfest 98. Sick. It was amazing. I saw Soulfly oh, yeah. and Sepultura and uh, the Foo Fighters. Who, who was headlining? Um, what well, was he? Ozzy. The Sabbath. It was fantastic. How old were you then? That day. I would have been. That's your first gig? I would have been like 12. Pretty impressive, man. Yeah, I got straight in there, don't mess around. Christmas once, my, uh, I was very young, my granddad gave me a scale replica of the James Bond Aston Martin with the ejector seat. Incredible. I had a little figure 
and you pressed a button and the roof opened and it flung out. Incredible. Wow. They don't make toys like that anymore. They don't, you know? No, it's all like computers and like apps, isn't it? Apps. Yeah. Apps. Where's the joy in an app? I, I, I can't see it. You know, you, you know you're going to probably give your grandchild an app for Christmas. One day. That's, look, do you remember that time not. that my grandpa gave me an app? That's the way the world's going, mate. Actually, for example, like we did two shows in LA. And speaking for myself, like the first one was a, I performed badly, and the second one I thought I performed well. So, like before even the crowds. Sorry, played fucking well. Just as I am fucking humble. <laughs> Are you the Ringo? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs>